It's baseball season, and if you got a new glove, or if your kiddo's got a new glove, you're gonna have to break that baby in so it has a nice, sweet pocket. And today, we're gonna show you how. So the first thing to keep in mind, there are a million ways to break in a baseball glove. If you got a way that works for you, use that one. Here's what's worked for me. So the first thing you wanna do is run hot water through the pocket of the glove. This will make the leather nice and supple and loose, which will help you be able to form that pocket. Next, we're gonna do while the glove is still wet, take a baseball and just start pounding it in to the glove where you want the pocket to be. So just throw it in there a bunch of times. Another thing you can do is put the ball in the glove where you want the pocket to be and take a rubber mallet and just start hitting the ball with the mallet and uh, speeds up, it's a little hack there. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your glove, put the ball in where you want the pocket to be, fold over the glove how you want it to fold over and tie it down. Uh, you can use either bungee cords, a towel, a leather belt. I don't recommend rubber bands because it has a tendency to leave unsightly marks or lines in the leather, uh, but that can work as well. Once you've done that, place the glove in a warm, dry place. Uh, you can do this overnight. If it's during the day, just leave it out in the sun uh, for a couple hours. And after that, take the glove while it's still damp and do some more pounding. And the best way to break in a glove is just play lots and lots of catch. Some general don'ts on breaking in a baseball glove. You don't want to put it in the oven. That's something that a lot of people out there uh, do to break in a baseball glove. That, that can really compromise the leather and uh, actually do a lot of damage. And if you're going to use oil, which is perfectly fine, like a baby oil, don't use too much. If you use too much, you're going to make the glove heavier. And you don't want that. You want to keep your glove as light as possible. Well, there you go. How to break in a baseball glove. Hope you found this helpful. If you got any tips on breaking a glove, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, this is Brett McKay telling you to stay manly.